My name is Alex Wolin. I'm here in Mexico on a mountain, and here's that story. Before we start, though, viewer discretion is advised. In three, two. <laughs> Get ready to go down? Yeah, I think so. And this was the point where I had to ask myself, why the fuck are you doing this? Well, let me start from the beginning. New York City, East Village. 420, my alarm goes off. I get up. I get my shit together and get in my lift. Made it to JFK. Got my ticket. You're all set. The gate is deep. More straight ahead. Went through security. Got searched because of all my camera equipment. Found my plane. And boarded my flight to Mexico City. Hello, good morning. If you are unwilling, unable, or feel that any of the actions described on this card will cause you bodily harm, please let one of us know and we'll be happy to receive you. Once again, welcome on board Jeffrey Airways Flight 999. <laughs> Landed in Mexico City, went through customs, exchanged my dollars to peso, found a bus to Puebla, got a taxi from the bus terminal to the airport, and talked to my driver Raul. Found my friend, met up with the other dudes and one of the guides. He gave us a quick update. Then we packed up our shit and drove into the night. We arrived at headquarters later. Woke up, found my way to the roof, and laid my eyes on it for the first time. I got down, met Emilio, who gave us the rundown of the mountain. We packed up our gear once again, and we headed up into the mountain. We arrived at base camp, unloaded our shit, and had some free time. So we decided to better get to know the guys. Ah, it's so bright. Uh, my name is Gabriel Garza. Uh, I'm from Monterrey, Mexico. We're here in uh, trying to climb Pico de Saba. I've climbed mountains before, but all around Monterey, I love to hike, but they have no, no snow, no glacier. This is the first glacier I'm climbing, so I'm excited, nervous. Oh, well, it's the highest peak in Mexico, and uh, I just like climbing stuff. I'm Gaston Benitez, I'm from Monterey, Mexico, but I'm currently studying film in Savannah, Georgia. This is kind of like a revenge thing. I tried to do this mountain four years ago. I failed miserably. I don't think I even got a um, one-fourth of the summit day down. This is a beautiful place. I think I, I, I love the, what do you call it, biome here. Why do you like climbing? Um, I don't think I like it. <laughs> I think it's a very uh, masochistic thing to do this this sport. I don't really enjoy it. I think it's more of a challenge of um, self versus mountain, self versus self thing. I think this is just horrible, but I think it's worth the experience. Sorry. Sure. Uh, my name is Jose Gerardo Sada. I'm from Monterrey, Mexico. And what I'm doing here is I'm trying to summit the tallest point in Mexico. Yeah, I, I tried the peak once uh, about two years ago and we had some uh, trouble with uh, 
our team and the, the number of guides, so some of us had to turn back at, at the like halfway up the glacier. Definitely the experience, the story, the connection with the mountain and nature. So. Hello, I'm Gustavo Bakov. I'm from Mexico, Monterey. And um, we're here at the uh, Corizada and, uh, near Puebla. We're here to climb the, uh, the mountain. And uh, right now I'm currently sharpening my, uh, my crampons for the ice. Nothing like this. This is my first time in the uh, Alta Montaña. How do you say in English? High mountaineering. I have a good feeling about our guides and the route they'll take us through. Um, I think that uh, we're going to make a good summit. We explored a little bit more and made our way into the shelter near us. And we talked to some of the hikers. I'm Jim Williams and I'm from uh, Colorado in the U.S. And I, my name is Scott Dawson, I'm from Calgary, Alberta. And my buddy Jim here dragged me down to hike this great Pico de Orizabo. And it was a challenge, it was a real test. And we got to the summit, it took us eight and a half hours. And I think six, well maybe five were on crampons. Yeah, five on crampons. So, pretty slope, it's pretty icy, so it's, it's kind of a no-fall zone. We had, a, we had a great guide. Well, his name is Daniel Reza Chavez, and he's from Guadalajara. Here he comes right now. Yeah, here he comes right now. Hey, here comes the man. This is the great guide. This is the great guide, bro. We're just doing a quick interview of today. Uh -huh. he took good great. care of us, These buddy. guys are tough. He took good care of us. <laughs> conditions, conditions were very tough. Yeah, very icy, very slippery. Well, we ski a lot, so the slope didn't really phase us too much, but... You know, there's no, there's no margin for error there. Uh, I'm Josh, I'm a musician from Nashville, Tennessee. I do a lot of backpacking with my uh, brothers and my nephews, and I've summited Mount Baker in Washington. That's yeah. the only other glacier I've been on, so this was my second glacier I was really excited to do, but I didn't get to make it today, so. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know, this one, this mountain is a lot taller. Yeah. But I guess there's no crevasses on this mountain, and there's crevasses on Baker, so mm -hmm. we kind of had to rope up. How do you feel about not being able to summit today? Fine. Fine. Yeah. And what does that mean for you? Are you going to come back, or? I mean, I would love to come back. You know, who knows if I will, but I would love to. Yeah. Yeah. Still wasn't sure how to feel about the mountain at this time, but I guess I could have figured it out the next day during our acclimatization hike. Got up the next day, had a quick breakfast, and talked to our guys before we headed up into the mountain. Hey, my name is Carlos Emilio Rangel Villalpando, and I come from Mexico City. I was born in Mexico City, and well, I live in Tepoztlan, Morelos, Mexico, near Cuernavaca. Well, I, I used to be an electromechanical engineer, and I quit uh, eight years ago. I decided to quit to my job to become a mountain guide. So I spend my time here in Mexico guiding and sometimes in South America, in Patagonia, Chile. Doing mountaineering, 16 years, but guiding since uh, 2012, you know, mountain guiding. So maybe 100 times or maybe more, who knows, but yes, maybe more than 100. <laughs> okay, well, this mountain is, is very old, you know. <clears throat> and this is part of the, the Eje Volcanico Transversal and it's part of the, well, this is the third highest mountain in North America okay, the first one is McKinley in Alaska, then Mount Logan in Canada and then Orizaba um, its real name is Sitlaltepetl, that means the Star Mountain okay, and obviously native Mexicans used to, you know, make some celebrations on this mountain in, in every mountain or in each mountain that you go and climb, the main dangers are objectives, you know, like rock falls, thunders, 
uh, you know, crevasses in case that you go and find crevasses, avalanches. The most dangerous problems on this mountain maybe are fallings. The glacier is very icy. What did they say? Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, the <clears throat> that is, well, they didn't reach summit. And the entrance of the glacier is good, but when there is a there is a section when it, it becomes more steep, yeah. and in that section is pure ice. Pure. So they didn't try it. And yeah. yesterday, um, a team of Americans, yeah. they didn't try it. You know. Yeah, they turned around. The summit was there for, for them. Yeah. So yeah, tomorrow we need to check, okay? Yeah. Because I mean, mountain is here. Yeah. yeah. But safety is first. Yeah. Two weeks or one week ago, um, unfortunately, a man from Querétaro. He, he died because he, he suffered a falling, you know. He slipped away and he couldn't stop. He couldn't do his self-arrest and he go far 200 meters and obviously he died, you know. So in, in this kind of mountains you should be very, you know, careful. Can you tell me how you're feeling? Uh, a little bit headache. I get a little bit of an altitude sickness. Uh, I just took a pill, so I hope my confidence pretty low. Nuevo hallazgo en el pico de Orizaba. Misterio de las momias encontradas en el pico de Orizaba. Alpinistas norteamericanos se accidentaron durante su ascenso al volcán pico de Orizaba. Sí, es buenos días de nueva cuenta. Seguimos en esta transmisión especial para Azteca Noticias desde el pico de Orizaba. Desde el estado de Puebla señalan que el accidente... Encontró un cuerpo momificado mientras escalaban la montaña. Las imágenes que muestran un cuerpo momificado hallado en el volcán pico de Orizaba. Hay muchos cruces como estas de metal. ¿Qué quiere decir esto? Bueno, pues es en memoria de las personas que han eh, perdido la vida. Y aquí hay una placa muy interesante que eh, quiero mostrarles con esta imagen. En el... Well, tomorrow is summit day, and things aren't really going to plan. I had this constant migraine, and I was unable to eat much of anything. But I hung out with the guys, and we had a riveting conversation before we went to bed around 7 p.m. No, I, I just want to give an update. It's dark now, and the, um, the temperature has dropped. It's pretty cold. <laughs> Batteries have stopped working for some cameras. We had some Oreo stole somewhere. <laughs> stole some water magnetism. <laughs> I would say cows genetically engineered Americans. <laughs> four minutes? We're leaving four minutes? Well, that's... No, we we'll leave at two, but in like 19 minutes. We're just having a cup of tea, green tea, some cereal, and, cereal. and then what? Well, yeah, yesterday, um, two hikers got lost in the glacier. Well, Jose this doesn't say they didn't get lost, but you know, um, I think they did. They weren't lost, they just fell down. They, they fell they down haven't found from them yet. 500 meters. So yeah, today uh, the guide told us that the, the ice conditions is like really, really hard. That even with protection, he, he thinks it's, it's, it's going to be a tough decision. So we'll see once we get up there to the glacier.
down. Yeah. A little bit more. A little bit more. Get ready to go down. Yeah, I think so. How are you feeling, girl? A little bit better? <laughs> no. I'm really thirsty, but I know if I drink anything, I'm gonna just throw it back. Oh. It's a pretty view, though. So, yeah, I turned back. But before you call me out and tell me I'm a pussy, I gotta say, I gave it literally everything I got. I threw it five times on the way up, and another three on the way down. I got to watch the sunrise as I was making my way down to the shelter where I rested for a little bit. I felt helpless. I was just lounging around while my friends were up on the mountain trying to summit. I should have been there with them rather than trying to hold down this stupid fruit bar. A few hours passed and the guys made it down without managing to summit either, so HA! Wait, I mean, unfortunately, they weren't able to make it either. We packed up our shit and headed back down to the town where the base was. We explored San Miguel de Zapan and I asked the locals why they think people climb the mountain. Pero, ¿Son hijos estos? No. ¿Cómo te llamas tú? Diego. Porque le gusta tal vez el riesgo, los riesgos, el, la adrenalina, supongo. Su papá, ¿cómo se llama? Yo me llamo Celso Ramos Paredes para servirle. ¿Tú fue? Martín, Los Santos, Tom. Pues por distracción y por necesidad, a veces, vamos a trabajar, sí. ¿Por qué crees que la gente eh, sube la montaña? No sé, a divertirse. I realized there wasn't really one answer, but instead a plethora of distinct motives. Each is valid as the next. It's free meditation, like you don't have to work to get to like no thoughts, because it's so already there. Yeah. That's what's the coolest part about it. Right. Uh, you know freedom is like a, an active meditation. So you become one with the mountain. I don't know. This is fun. It feels like you're doing something. The feeling of uh, accomplishment once uh, or at least uh, being able to like try something and give it like your best. Yeah, it's fun. When you try to try somebody and don't make it. Oh, it feels great, because you know you have to come back. So what the fuck am I doing here? Well, I'm from New York, so I'm here for the clean air, the silence, and the stars. <laughs>